Trello demo for project management and personal use. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Trello as your project management software and how you can use it to organize your day and generally schedule your own personal workflow. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to create your Trello account and it's very simple. You're just going to put in your email and verify your email. Once you do that and fill in some of the basic information, you're going to land on this page and this is your home page over here. Over here, I've deleted all previous templates or samples that I had created, and this is what your workspace is going to look like. Now, on the top, you have this blue toolbar, and from this toolbar, you can move and switch to different softwares from over here on this square box. After that, you have your homepage icon, so you can move to your homepage. From here, you can view your different boards, and on the search bar, you can open search and move to any specific area on your Trello platform. After that, on the right side, you'll see a create button. From here, you're going to create your different workspaces. After that, have you have your information, notification, and then you have your account settings. And now this is the general workspace and to create your workspace, there are different categories you can organize your things in. First off, you have a workspace, which is the largest category. Then within your workspace, you can create different boards and within those boards, you create different tasks. Now to create a workspace, you're just going to click on this icon on the right that says create and then you can create a board. Now, you can start with a template if you want, and that is going to reduce the amount of work you're going to have to do in terms of setting up your workspace. But I'm going to start off with an empty workspace to show you guys how it's like to start from scratch. Now, I'm going to create a daily schedule workspace. And now this workspace is going to be absolutely separated from my general work area. Now, if I have one workspace named daily schedule, and what if I'm running a totally separate business, I can write side hustle and have my side hustle be completely different. And you can see now everything from my side hustle is going to be totally separated from my daily schedule. So I can organize all of these things without having them overlap or have any kind of contact within each other now for a daily schedule now I think Trello is very good to create your daily schedule especially if you are a student or someone that has a very jam-packed day and you need something to move your tasks and move your workflow and give you a visual progress bar for your work uh, I think Trello is going to be very helpful in that situation so on this menu over here on the right you can change the settings of your board so you can change the background you can add any colors photos or custom I'm going to change it to a plain pink because I really like pink. You guys probably already know that. Now from this, you can add your list. So let's create a first list of recurring events. So you can add a recurring events list and you can add separate cards or tasks. So Trello renames their tasks into cards. You can rename them as you wish. Now let's say you have wake up at six. And then you can change the different labels, card numbers, members, covers, or the edit dates or the due dates of this card. So if we were to open this card, you can see you can add members, labels. So a label is very efficient in terms of managing workflow. If you were to label something as urgent in your business workspace, you then other people would be notified that this is something that is urgent that they should complete at the first opportunity and then you can label something as completed you can label something as stuck so especially if you're a student and you're getting stuck on certain things then you can mark them as stuck and you can revise those topics and bring those topics up later in class or whenever you are free after that you can also add a description to your task and then you have a checklist so a checklist is basically a subtask list so if i were to say eat breakfast and then i have a progress bar for when this task is completed within a singular card now i can say yoga i can add pilates coffee head to work and now for this whenever i am waking up at six i can say that i have begun this and then i can check out each task and get a progress bar on how this task has been completed and once I have done all of these and click them out I will have a hundred percent progress bar and that is going to help me 
in generally defining event is occurring at the time that I want it to. Now in terms of leaving notes, you can leave notes in the activity section here on Trello and within a card you can leave a activity note and you cannot add any notes to a subtask but if there is a subtask that is pretty big so maybe you create a subtask like add another list revision topics and then you add english revision and then within this you're going to add your checklist and let's say if your checklist is verbs if you have nouns let's say we're going to start with grammar sentences i'm going to rename this topics list and then i'm going to add my topics so i have nouns verbs grammar general sentence structures and i'm just uh, writing these up as a general example for you guys and now in terms of labels or tags i can click on these labels and create some labels so the green label is completed and the red one could be urgent or actually the red one could be stuck and the yellow one could be requires help and now you can label your task as well and you can see in your subtopics or your subtasks you can assign it to a certain member and you can also add your time but that that can only be added if you are a premium user of trello but if you're using the free version of trello you can't add a time which is a small irritate it's a small irritating little thing that you want to add time but you can't but still it's a very useful useful feature especially in terms of general visual progress because as a human being sometimes it's difficult to monitor progress without a visual representation and trello really does that very well now you can also add a cover for your card so like this if you want your task to look a specific way you can add your date as well so if a task should be completed on a due date and you can save that and then you can also add some power-ups if you wish but that is also a complicated feature to add so you can add bulk actions, you can add a countdown, you can add email, you can add two-way card mirroring, you can also add your backups, page proof, all of these different extensions which are very helpful, especially the bulk action extension. If you're running a larger business, you will most definitely have to add this because it's one of the basic features that you're going to use if you're running any kind of larger organization now moving back to our workspace and our cards you can also move a card you can copy it you can make it a template and you can add yourself in watch so if you do that and if maybe you're a supervisor in a business if you're a manager you can add yourself as a watcher on a task and then you're going to get notifications as the task progresses and as the task moves on and goes on you're going to be able to get notifications on how far along the task is is, when is the due date and all of the essential deeds that you need to know if a task is completed you can also archive it and share it with other people now if we go to our basic home page or if we just want to create a separate board within our daily schedule workspace so we're going to click on board we're going to click on start free trial now if you take a look at your board you can organize different cards and this workspace is the daily scheduling workspace. You can add more boards within this. So let's say we create a exams board like this. Create board name exams. And you can start off with a template. And for this, I'm going to show you guys the different templates that are available on Trello. Because now you guys have seen the general starting from scratch approach on Trello and how you're going to build up your project management or daily scheduling from Trello on to how you're going to develop that on Trello and get organized like that but if you want to start off with a template that is also very good because Trello does provide you with a vast vast variety of templates and you can see there are different templates available for different business categories so if you're working in business you can select a template related to business whatever category you're working in whatever use you want to use Trello for you can get it over here now for our situation let's say we are running a marketing campaign maybe so we're going to go in marketing and view one of 
their marketing templates. Now you can see over here we have different marketing templates and you have a very wide variety to select from. You can see you don't have to pick from one or two. There are quite a few. So let's just say we want a marketing overview and we are just going to open up this template and use it. So you can select if you want to keep the cards and keep the template cards. I'm going to keep them but if you're creating your own marketing or whatever category you selected of a template from Trello then I would suggest you unselect these because it's gonna be a irritating little task to delete all of the previous cards but I'm just here to show you guys an example of how everything works so I'm gonna keep them and create my board and once my board is created I'm gonna get back to you guys it might take a few seconds here and there because sometimes uh, boards are very heavy but this board wasn't that heavy so it just loaded pretty quick now you can see over here you have your start here and now you can see over here you have different cards so you have a start here you have a marketing team this week you have a team meeting card you have a in progress card and you have a up next card after that you have a done card and you can add more lists as you want so maybe you'll have a end review card or approved and you can go on so on and so forth now you can also record a screen recording or take a screenshot via the create loom video as well now if you want to move a card you can do that easily by just by dragging it so if you want to move a card you can move it like so if you want to maybe how to use this list okay so these are just easy information on how you can use the trello application but who really opens these up and reads all of them so if you want to move it, you're just going to move it and drag it and drop it. So maybe if something, you can see the October newsletter. So maybe if it's in progress, maybe it has been completed, you're going to move it to completed. And once it is in done and someone is has reviewed your template, you can move it to in review. And when, once it is approved, you can move it over here. And this is going to be a good visual uh, representation of how the work is moving. Now you can see all of the basic features on your workspace and now another good feature that I really do love about Trello is their accessibility. So if you go onto your homepage and select your uh, little profile picture over here, you're gonna go into profile and visibility and you can see your activity over here. So you can monitor all of the activity that you have and whatever you have done you can view it over here and after that you have your card so anything that is assigned to you you can view it over here and if you want to view the cards that are assigned to you only by a certain board or if you want to see all of your active cards in the previous month you can view them over here after that you have your settings and in these settings a really 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 good feature that they have is the accessibility so you can enable a colorblind friendly mode so you can easily view colors if you are differently abled and as a bonus feature i'm going to tell you guys about the stickers on uh, stickers on trello because i find them very cute so if you go into your menu over here and you click on stickers you can see there are so many cute little stickers that you can place on your cards. So if you want to place a sticker, you're just going to do this and it's going to appear over here and you can add any of these that you like. So that was just a fun little bonus feature. And in general, I do think Trello is a good project management software. I think it's pretty neat, which is the plus point within Trello, but it has some negative drawbacks like it's limited due dates and timings and you're not a directly a bit able to create recurring events, which is pretty irritating, especially if you're creating like a daily schedule. And in terms of pricing, however, I am going to show you guys the pricing on Trello. For the amount of features that it has, Trello is pretty decently priced. So the free version, you get unlimited cards and unlimited members. And this is just what you're looking for. So if you have a lot of people in your team and you don't want to pay for your project management software and you have to create a lot of cards so you also have a lot of tasks you can easily use Trello and it's going to include unlimited cards and members so you don't have to worry about ever running out of space but you can only create up to 10 boards per workspace so each person can only create 10 boards but I think that is pretty sufficient and you can easily work within 10 boards you also get unlimited power-ups you get unlimited storage that is 10 MBs per file which is a very very 
decent storage space especially considering you're getting this for free and a lot of other project management softwares only provide you with a limited file storage that goes like it has a total limit of around one gigabytes and your total data cannot exceed that limit however trello does give you a file size limit but it does have a option to add as many files as you want you also get their background stickers activity logs assigning and due dates you also have a android and ios app on trello so you, if you want to keep updated on your work you can add that app to your phone and make sure that you are updated with every task via your phone and you also get two-factor factor authentication but after that the priced version of trello starts at five usd per month which is very less compared to maybe asana or slack or clickup most of those start at eight dollars a month so you have to keep into consideration that uh, this is a lot less than the other project management softwares out there and they give you a thousand wor workspace commands per run so that's like automations you get a single board guest so you can invite people as view only guests you get unlimited file storage of 250 megabytes per file you can also add custom fields to advanced checklists and you can create unlimited boards so you can add as many boards as you want and i think this is one of the best value for money kind of deals that are available in terms of project management softwares after that you have your 10 usd premium version which has a lot of views like calendar views map views you get admin and security features workspace level templates you get observers collections you get priority support and you get a simple data export so that is something you can consider if your project is getting very large and you have a lot of things that you need to be simplified after that you have a enterprise version and that's going to range for the amount of users that you have but for 25 users it's going to cost you 1750 per user per month and that is going to give you organization-wide permissions and organization level categorization so that is something only for uh, i would recommend for a business that has over 200 people or over 100 people because below that like if you're a team of even 50 people you can easily coordinate between each other and you don't really have to worry about it but after that i think you might want to opt for the enterprise version so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video